Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. I'm so excited to do this project today. Um, we are going to basically embellish a birthday gift. So I've got names um, that we're gonna be stacking. I wanna use my SVG file where we're gonna use the bobble and have some stuff in there. Um, so yeah, so before we get started though, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I totally appreciate it. And let's get started. So. I found a new font on Creative Fabrica, which I am so guilty of not finding new fonts because I have a selection that I always use and um, I love it. But this one, I mean, just look at how delicate this is, but it cut really easily. This is paper. Normally, anytime that I go really thin like this one, I'll use HTV. So you can kind of see the lines right here. They're purposely thin because I wanted that look, but I didn't want the headache of cardstock. So I did HTV on this and then I just used my mini heat press and did it for a couple seconds. But you can see how sparkly this is. I absolutely love it. So, all right, let's start doing the name. The name we're gonna have to use Barely Art Glue because this is so, so thin, right? But I love, we're gonna be doing layers. I did the circle right here and I'm gonna record the design space afterwards. I usually do design space after because I realize that I wanna make some changes to it. Um, I didn't make this circle connected to the C enough. So you can see, I don't know, I felt like readjust a little bit. It's there and it's welded on, but I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to add a little bit of my hot glue gun right there just to make it a little bit stiffer right there. But in the meantime, Let's get our Charlotte down. So I'm going to, all right, let's see how I can do this the easiest way. All right, I'm just gonna start adding glue here. You know what, it might be easier to pick this up. I don't necessarily want glue all over my workspace because it's so thin. All right. So I'm just gonna go all around and get glue on here. Oops, sorry, it was off camera. And I do love this glue. I love the precision, the fine tip. Um, I also like that it dries clear and pretty quickly, but it gives me enough time to still make some adjustments, so that's important to me. Because, <laughs> you know, nothing ever goes down perfectly, right? All right, let me flip this over. And we'll just put this down. So, I mean, it's just so pretty. I love this gold paper. Um, I'll make sure to link it. I absolutely love the gold paper. I love how thin it is. I love, oh, I put it on the wrong one. No, 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 no. All right, I'm gonna lift it up really quickly. Oh. I just realized, I'm like, wait a minute, why is that offset so thick? Because it's supposed to go on the white. <laughs> so, all right, this is what I'm gonna do. I think it's still sticky enough. I'm gonna go put this down wholly. So you saw that. So it speaks to the glue, all right? Holy, okay. It's going down, it's going down. All right, I think we're okay. Oh my gosh, isn't that funny? I was like, it looks so pretty, but it wasn't how I designed it. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so you see it dries quickly. Now it's dry. It gave me enough time to make some adjustments where I glued it wrong, incorrectly, and there you have it. So I did, the, I did Riley and I did Charlotte. Look at how beautiful that is. I know it's so hard to see with the light, but it's... I love this. Okay, <laughs> let's see if I have a better time with this one. All right, so this, the eyes have a little bow over it, which I absolutely think is adorable. I'm gonna pick up this bow. This is my quick stick. Oh my gosh, <laughs> what a morning. Um, I love the quick stick because it'll pick up little things like this, where sometimes I feel like the tweezers um, is still too hard to pick up because it's so thin. And um, 
and I'm a chopsticks girl, so I feel like I can pick up a lot of things, but sometimes it's so thin, it's it's easier to use this. So on one side, it's like putty, and then on the other side, it's like uh, just acrylic where I can kind of push things around, so it's a great combo. All right, I'm gonna flip this over, knowing that the gold is going on the white, holy. All right, that was, um, sometimes my mistakes are, well, I always say it's a learning moment, right? It's a learning opportunity. But um, man, did that prove my point or what? Just enough time to dry quickly, but still give me <laughs> a little bit of flexibility to, you know, make corrections. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. All right, I'm gonna wipe my hands real quick and pick this up so you can see it. Oh, I love it i love it so so much okay so now comes the stacking i am let's do kim first and i'm basically gonna put you know our little foam tape all over and i like that the you know the foam tape that this is thick enough that i don't need to do anything with the foam tape i'm not a big fan of having to um cut the foam tape that's where you lose me like lose me really badly <laughs> all right i'm gonna do that okay and then let's peel this off and what we're gonna do is on each one of these i'm gonna add a little bit of my hot glue right there to strengthen that little circle because basically i'm gonna put ribbon through that hole and tie it to the gift and it's gonna be dangling from the bow I know, there's a lot going on here. So, I am gonna use my glue here because I'm always worried that this thing is gonna come off. Okay, and then a little bit of glue right here. Okay. And I'm gonna put some glue just on a few of these. All right, here we go. And put it on this one. Okay. This one I'm going to put on this. Now I'm just going to glue this one cuz it's still this one's too thin. I don't think I don't think my glue or my foam tape, yeah, my foam tape is going to be too thin. So I'm going to just glue this one down. this over, put this down, and so delicate and pretty. I absolutely love it. Now on this one, because obviously it's going to be the top one, I'm not going to put the glue right here, but I'm going to put it behind it just to make sure that it is strong. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here. Okay. Then on this one, we're gonna put the foam tape and some glue. So let's do that. I'm gonna put the glue right now. <clears throat> so apparently I've been using the wrong, I think I've been using the wrong glue stick. So, um, my glue stick has been, oh my gosh, I just put my finger in that, not good. Um, so my glue stick has been really drippy, which is horrible. I hate it. Um, so I need to figure out my glue situation. <laughs> I need to fix that because I don't love it. All right, here we go. So I'm going to peel off the top part. We're just layering. I mean, the thing that about layering is it just gives you that depth and that it makes it so much more extra. I can't even explain it. The first time you do it, you're gonna see such a huge difference. And it's funny because when you think about it, you're like, well, it's still paper, it's still flat, but there's something about having that layered look. Um, so trust me on this, I know. It's a pain in the butt, 
but it's worth the effort. <laughs> All right, so on this one, I'm gonna do this. Gosh, see my glue's, my glue is so annoying. Okay. Um, on this one, I'm gonna do the same thing because I'm a little bit worried about my glue, my foam tape, that is. I'm gonna put a little bit down. And then I'm gonna do the glue on every other. I'm gonna put a little bit more glue right there. Okay. All right. Put that down. Put this on top. And get rid of all those little glue strands. Okay. And in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of glue in between these two layers, hot glue gun that is, and I'm going to have them connect. Okay. And that will make it stronger as well. All right, here we go. Let this dry. And this is gonna be hanging down on the present. So it's so, I mean, can you see it? This The font is so cute. The font is from Creative Fabrica and it's called Ashley Marie. So I'll definitely link it. I just love it. So, um, all right, we're gonna do the next one. And so all my layers, I'm just gonna put it out here. Let's do this one first. Let's put this down. I put glue all here. And the reason why I'm doing this layer first is I have a feeling that I'm gonna forget and then on this, on the first, the top green, uh, green one, I'm gonna put the hot glue gun around that circle, I'm pretty sure I, I will forget to do that. So I will forget and actually do it. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this down first to remind me not to put glue on this side, but put it on the other side. Oh my gosh, this green is so pretty. So it's a unicorn theme. Um, so that's why I went with these colors. So on this side, I'm going to put the glue to strengthen it right here. Okay, and then on this one, we're gonna put foam tape like we did the others. So I'm just gonna start putting it down. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm telling you, it's I shouldn't be crafting today, but I've been gone for a couple days and I also haven't been feeling well, so I haven't been crafting at all and the birthday's today. Otherwise, I would save this for another day. When things start to go, where I start to make so many mistakes, I just realize like I'm, I'm not in a good space. <laughs> but we're gonna, we're gonna continue on because we have to. So I'm gonna put this here. And let's see, on this one, I'm gonna put the, oh my gosh, my God. Things are going crazy. All right, I'm gonna put the glue gun down here. Okay, um, all right, so start peeling this off. And I know, I love to, there's something about gift wrapping. I love pa the paper. I also love ribbon. And um, lately, I've been really adding the crafting on top of that, which I, I'm loving a lot. So, <laughs> and I will say the people who are receiving the gifts, they love it too. So, you know, it, it's worth it. It's worth the effort. Okay. Um, all right. So this one, I'm going to put this here and we're going to glue this down. So I'm going to put, I didn't pull this off. Okay. 
This is the prettiest color combination. I'm so in love with it. Okay, I got some glue here. Okay, here we go. It's so pretty. Um, all right, I'm gonna connect the, if you remember, I'm gonna put the hot glue gun in between here to strengthen that little gap right there. Well, it's not really a gap, but you know what I mean. Okay. Here we go. And then we've got one more layer for this one. And then I won't do I won't do Riley's this one cuz you get it. And then I'm going to do I'm going to move on to this, okay? So this will be the last one that we do. Or actually, we don't even need to do this last one. I'm going to move it aside. Okay. But I'm gonna put the ribbon through and string it on the present. I think it's gonna look really pretty. Okay, so this one, because I added HTV and I added heat and it was thin paper, you can see what it did to this, right? So we need to be careful when we put this down that we put down enough glue and that we press it down to the paper so that it adheres and it dries flat because we know we, um, we had this issue. So I'm going to just lay this down. And what's great, well, you'll see in a second, is that with just that, we can sh straighten out this thing and it's gonna look really, really pretty. We will flatten it back up. So you can see, it's pretty good, right? It's gonna dry pretty quickly and um, I'm gonna flip this around and I'm just going to put my phone on it. My phone's broken. <laughs> I'm gonna put that on there and we are going to work on this little guy. So, this little piece comes with the SVG file. It will hide all our imperfections on here, which is why I love it. All right, this is gonna go like this. And I'm actually, on this one, I think I'm gonna keep this little piece right here. And the reason is I'm gonna string the name through here. So on this one, let's put our little, it's a unicorn theme, so I'm gonna put this here, and let's make this a little bit thicker or higher. So I'm gonna use my foam tape, and let's see if, all right, I'm gonna do, and then we're just gonna hot glue gun it. So I'm gonna put that down and then put another layer so that it's gonna really sit off on top of the paper, okay? And we'll put this down. So this, I'm definitely going to put a lot of glue, a lot of my hot glue on here because I'm worried about it not staying. Flip it over. Oh my gosh, so cute. All right, so it's going to go like this, right? So... Here, I'm going to now put all of our little um, sequins, glitter, and stuff that I mixed earlier. So I did a lot of faux snow from Dollar Tree, and then I used a lot of pinks and whites in here. So we're gonna dump it in, like so. Then we're gonna flip this over. Oh my gosh, super cute, but you know what? I feel like I can add a little bit more. Okay, so I like to mix mine beforehand so I can get a real feel for the colors so that if I don't like it, I can keep you know making changes to it. If you dump directly in here, I feel like it's kind of hard to see. So all right, I'm gonna put that in, flip this over, and I need to line up my end to the, you know, to the underneath the unicorn. So actually I'm going to do this. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, I shouldn't be crafting today. All right, I've got it lined up. So now I'll flip it over. And so you see my unicorn is facing this way. My little string, my 
my hole is right there and now I'm going to add glue all the way around to seal it. So I'm going to use my hot glue gun. There's enough space on the paper to seal it and to go around. So just be careful, make sure that you don't get your fingers. And if you happen to get your fingers, which I have in the past, um, Neosporin will give you instant relief from glue gun burn. And uh, yeah, I've had it once where I, um, I did a pom-pom scarf and I basically, you know, cause the pom-poms are so fluffy, I, pushed my finger in between some palms and there was, it was just like a pile of hot glue gun uh, or hot glue. And it was painful and I thought I was gonna have my fingers for a couple days, but Neosporin really cleared it up. Okay, now is a good time to kind of peel off all your, your hot glue gun. You don't want to like rub it off. You wanna just peel it off, it will come off. All right, so here's our little shaker. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's just absolutely perfect. All right, this is now gonna go on top of this. This will go around so it will look like this. And I realized I forgot to print the backing of this so that it goes, there's gonna be a piece that goes right here. So for now, we're just gonna put this little guy on and you're gonna glue everything together. Sorry, I didn't, I forgot to print it or I forgot to cut it. So it will just all stay together and so it will be one piece. So that way you have the option of either gluing this to the ribbon, to the present, or, um, or not, or putting um, like this. Give me one second. Um, here. I'm gonna show you. So if you have a full back layer, you can then put some straws and that way you have this and you can weave the yarn or the ribbon in between to wrap your present. All right, so I, we're pretty much done here, just the last few steps and you see, and this can be a keepsake, which I absolutely love. So, all right, I hope that was helpful. I will see you guys next time. Comments and questions and let me know what else you wanna see. Bye.